Welcome back to The Grind. As I'm sure you know, Ghost is an absolute powerhouse and is insane for so much different content that otherwise would be extremely challenging. If you have not seen my other Ghost video on playing an unawakened Ghost with no synergies, I go through the basics of getting Furies, pushing them into the corner so you can chain on Furies, phasing, as well as how to land your huge special twos without a synergy team and i'll put that link down in the description below in this video we're going to focus on the benefits of an awakened ghost and why phasing multiple hits makes a bigger difference for a awakened ghost as well as all the options that a synergy team allows an unawakened ghost only gets the perk of an easy in when you're phasing attack so phasing multiple hits doesn't really give you any benefit however with an awakened ghost Every single hit that you miss grants a percentage of your power. So to get the maximum benefit of Ghost, you want to phase multiple hits. However, that can be challenging, especially with various champions. You can play Ghost effectively only phasing one hit each time as I'm showing here. And there are certain fights where this is a very effective way to play, especially if you're gaining a lot of debuffs that you can phase after each hit, the damage scales up very fast. It will take a lot of practice to learn to phase, especially special attacks and knowing when you need to block or dash back to evade or when you have enough time to let the special attack hit you during the phase or let another basic attack hit you. It's also essential to remember that while you have that passive active, you cannot phase again. So you will have to remember to block or evade rather than expect a phase to activate. If you can push your opponent into the corner and chain on multiple heavy attacks, you can get a lot of furies if the RNG is in your favor and that can allow for a massive damage off of the special two. Knowing what the opponent's medium attacks look like is very helpful so that you can remember to counter off of a medium attack otherwise you lose your opportunity to go in and then you have a passive precision that prevents you from phasing again becoming comfortable with the timing is important so you don't let the phase expire in time for the next hit so while the awakened ability is great for gaining power faster than your opponent and in some cases allowing you to even get off a special two before the opponent gains one bar of power i personally don't feel like the awakened ability is a genuine requirement for this champion to be a critical champion in your roster the more important part that makes using ghost so much easier is actually the wasp synergy to allow your special attacks to be unblockable the other thing to consider is that even if you're trying to get two bars of power before the opponent gets one you're at the liberty of what attacks they're going to throw if they're willing to throw three or four or if they're just going to do one or two so it's easier just to plan on doing one or even two but you have to be cautious if the opponent has two hits on their second medium attack then you might get hit if you're not delaying your attack enough another important skill for ramping up damage is to chain on heavy attacks in the corner and then throwing your special two so that you can get the damage with those furies now it is a little bit dependent on luck as to whether or not you're going to get the furies we talk about this more in the other video, but in order to crit on all hits as well as go unblockable with the Wasp Synergy, you have to phase immediately before activating your special. And in most situations, I use my right thumb to swipe left to dash back and then interrupt it with a special too. Now in this clip, we're gonna highlight a couple things. We're gonna be looking at a champion that is really annoying to play against because you can't always stun or parry the champion in order to get your attacks in. But with Ghost, you don't have to worry about that because you can just phase and then counter attack after that hit now the other aspect of this is it does have biohazard and so biohazard is limiting to champions that are immune to especially bleed and depending on your fight style sometimes poison the thing i want to point out here is if you've already phased and still have that passive cruelty you cannot phase off the debuffs and you cannot go unblockable for your special attack so when you're playing in these matchups you have to be extra cautious that you don't leave yourself hanging with a passive precision buff active removing your ability to phase and protect yourself from an incoming attack as well as to 
phase and remove a debuff and you especially don't want to throw off a special two that's not going to be unblockable so you don't land the damage because that's just going to be really disappointing now you can see that if you end up getting to a special two and then you attack out a full five hit combo in an attempt to get more debuffs you can then convert those into increased damage when you do your special attack now other nodes like energy adaption this is in act 7.1 and this allows you to gain even more debuffs on yourself and this also has every seven seconds it applies a poison i believe so this is a way for ghosts to get tons of debuffs and whenever you have a node like this it is a very effective way for ghosts to deal an insane amounts of damage and you can just dash back phase one hit and then dash in and you're most of the time getting a debuff that you can immediately convert into more damage and you can see that those mediums deal a lot of damage you can do the entire fight just phasing single attacks but if you're able to build up two to four or even five debuffs on you before you throw that special attack and convert those into furies as you do your phase before the special attack you can get some insanely high numbers and the only thing you got to keep in mind is you may need a little bit of reserve health because during the special attack each hit has the potential to put another debuff on you and of course you can't phase those off immediately so you will take a few ticks of damage from those debuffs that first hit did almost 40,000 damage because we had four furies up there and then it went down with each hit but now those mediums are doing doing 17,000, 19,000 because of all the furies that we gain from converting those debuffs into increased damage and then a quick special one to finish off the fight. Another node that Ghost is amazing with is Icarus, which is one of the very annoying global nodes in Act 6. Every hit grants you a fury and if you go over 8, then you start to degenerate or if one of them expires, you also degenerate. The only way to get rid of them is by doing a heavy attack, which is very annoying to do with most champions. I messed up here with Ghost because I didn't phase that initial hit, so I lost a ton of damage. But with Ghost, if you just continue to phase, each degeneration that comes on you is converted into a Fury for more damage, as well as the Furies you're already getting. And you can see those basic attacks were dealing insane amounts of damage. And we're going to see that a little bit better in this fight. It is a little bit more of a high risk, high reward scenario. But if you can get the hang of playing Ghost, this can make these paths much easier to deal with. So you can see see our damage is scaling up pretty quickly and as soon as we get to a special two we're just going to completely annihilate this opponent 81,000 damage just completely wrecked him with that first hit Another amazing thing that Ghost can do with the Hood Synergy is take no damage while phasing, and this includes damage from special three attacks, which makes her an option for all or nothing nodes or when they have insanely increased power gain. So you can see we phased right before that special attack went off and we took no damage from it. What you want to do is phase after each hit right away, and if they attack into you, then you can simply just attack back. But if you wait a little bit before before you phase back, they can throw that special three before you phase, and then you'll take all the damage from it. This synergy also works for passive damage over time. So you can see I'm taking damage from this degeneration, but as soon as I phase, the damage no longer goes on me. And so that is a very effective way to counter passive damage over time or champions like Dormammu that apply a lot of degen. This is also the synergy that allows Ghost to take no damage from recoil. Now, unfortunately, I do not have super suicide mastery so I cannot demonstrate it perfectly but I did do some research because I wanted to include this in the video so I found the timing that you have to phase back in order to cancel out the recoil and it is pretty tight and from players who play ghost a lot they say that sometimes they still miss the timing as soon as ghost stands up and plants both feet on the ground you want to phase and we're going to slow that down again here as soon as she stands up and puts her back foot down you want to start your phase backwards and that will allow you to phase the recoil damage. So that is all I have for Ghost. Ghost does not need to be awakened to be good, and you do not need synergies to be able to play Ghost effectively. If you do want to learn a little bit more about how to play Ghost without synergies, check out the video I made on using Ghost without synergies and unawakened, and I'll put that link in the description below. Of course, with the Wasp synergy, in my opinion, that is the best one for you to use on a daily basis so that you can get those easy special twos that are unblockable. And for certain content, having that 
hood synergy can be very beneficial. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this video, if it was helpful, and if you have any other tips to share with me or others who might also be watching this video. Good luck with your ghost practicing, and I hope to see you in the next video.